Hello, JCPS trombone musicians in middle school. I'm Chris Schmidt, and I teach um, a lot of lessons here in Jefferson County and the surrounding counties. I um, teach over here on Jaylene Drive at my studio. And today, I am going to perform both of your all-county excerpts for you and then give you some tips on how to go about making them um, sound good for a recorded audition, which is what we're going to be doing this year. In the past, you've had to go possibly do live auditions, and you'll still do live auditions in high school, but the recorded audition is a little bit different in how we want to go about um, getting ready to submit this because um, you can do the recorded audition as many times as you want. So we're going to start with playing the two etudes. One is a technical etude and the other one is a lyrical etude. The technical one is called a gavotte, that's a French dance, and the um, lyrical etude is called Scarborough Fair, which is a song. It has lyrics to it. So when I play that, you may hear the lyrics in your head while I'm playing it. It's almost like somebody singing a song. But let me play both of these for you. <laughs> So two contrasting etudes. Let's talk about the gavotte first, the dance. Um, there's several different styles that you're going to have to play in this piece. We start off, uh, the first style marking I see is a tenuto. That means that you'll hold the note for the full length and maybe emphasize it just a little bit compared to a note that doesn't have a tenuto marking on it. But hold those notes for the full value. Then we also have slurs. Now, we know on trombone, we still use our tongue when we slur. You know, for the note that we will use our tongue in a traditional style, it'll be the word ta, to, anything like that where your tongue hits the back of your teeth just a little um, sharply. Now, for the slur, there, and different band directors use different vocabulary for this. You need to use what works best for you. I think of the word da when I go to slur on a trombone. So like those two notes in the second measure would be ta-da or to-do, to where the second one is just not as um, hit as harshly. And that gives you the sound you need of a slur. Then we also have our staccato markings. Um, there's lots of different ways to describe staccato. A lot of people say separated. They say light. For me, I think all that, and I also think the word short, because we can have short notes and long notes, and staccatos, especially in this dance, are going to be more on the shorter length. Um, then we also have the accent, the C, and the beginning of the fifth measure. You've got to make sure that note is stronger at the beginning than the end. And it's also, um, you know, a short eighth note, so it's not going to be the longest accent that you have. Some accented notes, like half notes, you'll play for two beats and the beginning of the note will be louder than the end. On this accent, you just need to make it really strong. Now, um, looking over to the Scarborough Fair. This one, um, you may have noticed, I use something with my sound called vibrato. There are many videos on YouTube that you can search to understand how to make vibrato happen on a trombone. The first thing you have to make sure you do, use plenty of air. Because if we're not blowing using a lot of air, we can't play with a good sound. Once we have that good sound going, 
we take our jaw and move it like the words ma, ma, ma. And if I do that, there was a sound without vibrato. You see how it changes it, more like somebody that would be singing the song. Feel free to add the vibrato in there, but study it with a lot of different videos. And you can, of course, always contact me and I can, I can help you out with that too. Um, going back to the first one, something I didn't talk about that I usually do with all my students. This says you can play it anywhere from 72 to 80 beats a minute. That will be for when you get ready to record the video. When we are working the video up or working the etude up for the video, I would start at half tempo today. And over the course of two months, you can speed it up to that 72 to 80. But there's no need to play it fast right now. In fact, you will get cover more ground and make more of those styles happen by going very slow right now. Now, once you have got both of these worked up where you think they're sounding great, that comes the recording process. Under no circumstances should you wait until the very night before the auditions to start your recording. Generally, I've done these with my daughter before when she was auditioning for Indiana's All-State Band when she was in middle school. And um, we found that you can't get more than three good recordings in in a practice session. Your lips will start to wear out on you. So make sure that when you are going to um, do this, that you do no more than three takes and start a week before. So that gives you several nights to make good takes and take the best two takes that you can and then submit them. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. And um, if you want to ever reach out and have a lesson, just let me know. I'd love to have you here at my studio. Best of luck to you as you continue to become a better trombone player.